video tutorial, we will be discussing what is a reflection and also be talking about one type of reflection. Let's go ahead and get started. A reflection is one of the four transformations. It's commonly known as a flip or a mirror image. A reflection involves a line of reflection. When you perform a reflection, the original figure is the same size as the reflected new image. And the most important part also is each point on the original figure and its corresponding point in the reflected new image have the same distance to the line of reflection. Let's see how this all works in one type of reflection. The y-axis reflection. In this case, your y-axis is the line of reflection. If you take a look in the lower left corner, there's a diagram and your vertical y-axis is highlighted in yellow. That is your line of reflection. You'll see that you have one triangle, ABC, being reflected across the y-axis. So now it appears on the left side of the y-axis. Now, when you perform a y-axis reflection, your x-coordinate will change to the opposite value and your y-coordinate will stay the same. So by looking in the image, triangle ABC, you should be able to determine these sets of ordered pairs. Now when you reflect point A over the y-axis, A prime appears here. So the impact of the ordered pair, your x-coordinate of 4 will change to the opposite, which is negative 4. Your y value stays the same. So the ordered pair of a prime is negative 4 comma 3. For b prime, it causes the 7, which is the x-coordinate, to change to the opposite, so negative 7, and your y value stays the same. So b prime has an ordered pair of negative 7 comma negative 1. For c prime, your x-coordinate changes to the opposite of 2, which is negative 2, and your y-coordinate stays the same, negative 2. So the ordered pair of c prime is negative 2 comma negative 2. I hope you notice that both of these triangles are exactly the same size. And triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is the exact mirror image of triangle ABC. Last but not least, I wanted you to compare the points. So let's talk about A and A prime. So here's A and here's A prime. Both of them are four units away from the y-axis. That's a very important piece of information when it comes to reflections. Let's look at point B. B and B prime are both seven units away from the y-axis. Last but not least, C and C prime. Here's C, here's C prime. Both of them are two units away from the y-axis. That's very important when it comes to reflections. Hope that was helpful.